Hey, what's up guys and gals? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel for my returning subscribers. Thanks for all the support. Today we are taking a look at, as you can see in the title of the video, my personal cigar collection. This here is one of many of my Tupper doors. We're gonna take a look at uh, what we have stored in here. And of course I'll go into a little bit of detail, but I don't want this to be a super long video. So I'll kind of touch on a little bit here and there throughout. But um, yeah, if you are interested in how to build these awesome Tupper doors, I literally have had Boveda packs in here that are like over eight plus months old and they're still, they feel like they're brand new. Um, so this is the way to go in my opinion. We are sitting at 67% relative humidity. Check out the video up here if you wanna see how to make these super easy four items, I was gonna say ingredients, four items and you're good to go. But without further ado, let me flip the camera around. Let's jump into it. Now, real quick, in case you are into watches today, I am rocking my Bell & Ross Belly Tanker. This one here is nicknamed the Dusty and of course, appropriately has those tobacco rich browns in that Fotina color. So that's what I got on the wrist for you here today. Make sure to subscribe if you like watches and other cool stuff. Those are some of my hobbies. So without further ado, first tray, as you can see, this is all my Drew Estate stuff. Let's go ahead and take this out. I guess we'll go left to right, top to bottom. I'm not sure how I'm gonna go about this, but this is all, most of all of my Drew Estate stuff. So I got the H99 Phineas Gage. This of course you can only get at their events um, unless you seek one out online. But yeah, this is the H99 in a Lancero Vitola. So let me go ahead and put that back. I do have a box of these as well, but I love that red and gold color. Really cool packaging. Boom. Then of course I have a few of the H99 Robustos. You can see here. Great, great flavors. Um, yeah, these I'm gonna set aside for a bit. And then on this side, we'll just knock these out. So I have the, <clears throat> so these are the Herrera Esteli Limited Edition Lanceros. I got a few of those. You know, I gotta be honest, I was expecting it to be dialed in and these just kind of missed the mark for me. I'll do a review on it eventually. Um, but yeah, I got plenty of those Lanceros there. And then this whole row is basically a stack of Papas Fritas. Yep. So I had bought a box of, I think it was, came in a box of 50 and I'm down to 20 left. So eventually once I smoke all those, I'll probably swap it out with something different, but it's nice, quick little smoke. You know, really enjoyable. I can just grab and go. And then here I have the Norteño, Herrera Esteli. And that is the Toro box pressed. I love this stick. I actually need to buy a box of these because I just enjoy the heck out of it. Really toothy wrapper, a lot of flavor, and just a great, great smoke. These are a couple I have not had yet. So I got the Hoya Silver and then the Blackened M81 Toro. So I do have one of each of these as well. You can see, get a lot of reflection from my lights here I'm seeing with the uh, with those wrappers. Um, okay, and then working our way here. So I have four of the Undercrown. These are the Tuani. Uh, so when you go to special events that they have, these are the only, you know, only way you can get these unless you purchase them online, of course. But um, basically, meaning someone went to the event and they're selling theirs is what I meant to say. But yeah, these are the Tuani. It's basically the all decked out um, Undercrown 10 in this really nice format. So I got four of those. I do have an Undercrown Maduro. So I do have one of these. And then some more. Yeah, you can see under, yeah, this bottom. Here we go. I also have the Undercrown 10 in the different sizes as well. Uh, this one is the Toro, and then this one is the Lonsdale. So I got two and two of each of those. Over here, I got the Herrera Esteli. Yes, this is the Brazilian Maduro. So I got two of those. Up top, very, very special, my Year of the Rat. So I was able to get one 2022 and then one 2023, uh, but I don't have the 2021 <laughs> Year of the Rat. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to enjoy these. Part of me was thinking maybe for New Year's I could smoke the 2022, but I kind of want to just save them, set them aside and uh, let them do their thing. So got two Year of the Rats there. I do also have a, a Year of the Rabbit, you can see here. 
and this is the 2023 year of the rabbit so we'll set that aside I do have one of the anniversario pretty cool beautiful looking wrapper on that you can see the foot there yeah so at some point i'll enjoy this as well kind of moving back over to our Herrera Esteli. So I got two of the, um, yeah, this is just the Toro Especial. And the other one was the Maduro. So I got two of those. Man, 20 Acre Farm, Connecticut. I love this stick. This is another banger. Um, a little pricey, so it's not one that I always, you know, would just smoke daily. But when I'm really wanting that Connecticut goodness, this is the way I go. A little bit more budget friendly is the Undercrown Shade. So this is another great uh, Connecticut option. And I have one of these. You can see the wrapper's a little crinkled up. It's been, I've been just trying to put some age on it and see how, you know, how the flavors change. So I, I might smoke this sometime next year. I got two of the Nica Rustica. I think these were included in like some sampler packs from one of the events. I have not smoked um, these. So that's coming as well. It's another H99. Toro, or I'm sorry, Robusto. It's got the H99 Robusto there. I also have the H99 in the Super Ancho. Now these I could only get at an event, and it was really cool because met uh, Pedro and uh, Ginny Lynn, and I was like, hey, you know, is it all right if I get an extra one? And they said, oh, yeah, sure. So I was able to get three of the Super Ancho, and then I have one of the regular H99s here in Toro. Uh, but you can see the size difference there. But man, look at this wrapper. My goodness. Just beautiful. I don't know when I'll smoke these. That's kind of the problem is I feel like when I get some of the stuff that's a little harder to come across, um, for some reason I have trouble just smoking it even if I have multiple. So someday I'll, I'll tear into one of these super anchos because uh, I feel like it's, it's uh, well deserving of a full review. So that's what we got in our first row. All right. So we got the next uh, tray here. And as you can see, this is the Luciano Cigars Maria Lucia. And uh, this I bought a box of after I heard the story of the owner. Um, and I apologize, I'm terrible with names. But I remember hearing him talk about, you know, making this cigar blend and in, uh, in memory of his mother. And that's something I could relate to because my mother passed in uh, November of 21. And I actually had a watch made in memory of her working with a company that I was really close to. So I can relate to um, the beauty and, and uh, emotion behind creating something in honor and memory of your mother. So as soon as I saw this, heard the story behind it, um, yeah, I was instantly drawn to it. So I picked up a box. I've gifted two of these away and I've smoked one. So I'm gonna have to buy another box so I can kind of refill this and keep it on stop. It's a box press, uh, really, really good cigar. I love the foot band and the actual band and the artwork behind that story of it. Just simply beautiful so great cigar there and then off to the side here this is all my room 101 stuff so i actually went to an event here in town as a car show at uh, one of the humidors and i was able to meet matt booth and get a box of his daruma i'll show you that one here first actually there we go look at that limited as fuck really cool love the look of this cigar and it actually tastes great as well I was able to get a signed box from Matt Booth. And it was really cool because the timing of when I went, I got to meet him and it was just basically he and I in the humidor. And I was just picking his brain, trying to learn as much as I could, hearing you know, about the ethos behind his, his uh, branding and then of course blending. Uh, it was really cool. So I picked up a lot from the farce line. I'll just pull up those here. You can see got a little bit of, you know, a little sampler that I made. And I've smoked some of them already. So I, I tore through quite a bit, all, you know, so far. Um, and then the big payback, so this one here, the Maduro. And I actually um, had a couple of the Connecticut's that I just absolutely loved and blew through those. So I need to pick up a box because I really missed that cigar. And it was really nice of him. He didn't have to do this, but at his event, this is the golden bucket. Of, and he kind of had a deal where if you bought a box or so much that you would get one of these event only cigars. And he was really kind and generous and gave me two. So I thought that was awesome. Really nice of me. He didn't have to do that. And I remember talking to him about having a YouTube channel and how he's going to get into cigar content. And he's like, yeah, man, we'll do a collab. And he probably forgot all about me and who I am. I don't know if he'd remember that conversation, but 
I may, uh, I may reach out to him at some point in the future because I think that would be a lot of fun to do a collab with Matt Booth directly and uh, maybe get to check out some cool stuff before it comes out, something like that. Really good cigars, I really enjoy his, uh, his blends. And so yeah, let's move on to the next tray. All right, here we go. So this is actually two boxes of the Aganor Salif. This is the uh, US Vet POW MIA Ori second edition sampler, and these are numbered boxes. So I thought this was really cool. I saw these on a website and uh, had to pick them up. I did smoke one of them, which you can you pause it here if you wanna read about the event. Uh, I'm a big supporter of the military and their families and loved ones. So seeing this, you know, I was drawn to this as well. This is what is all included. You get two of the signature, one of the rare leaf reserve, the Nica Libre box press, and then the box press Supreme leaf. I just love the colors on this band too. Um, I did smoke the box press. Now, interestingly enough, I'd seen some reviews and people talking about it being really peppery, like a pepper bomb. But because these are uh, older, they've had some age on them. And the one I had was not overwhelming. It was actually really, really nice. So I thought it was kind of cool to see another review on that cigar be different from when I reviewed this one. Um, this limited, oh, let's see, this one was number 115. So I got two boxes of that. I should have picked up everything they had in stock, but I only bought two. So I kind of regret that. And then here is a mixture of some of my Cavalier and Caldwell stuff. Robert Caldwell, you can start with those, I guess. Yep, there we go. So definitely wanted to pick up kind of a, a sampler, a mix of the Robert Caldwell blends. This is the Midnight Express. Um, I have not smoked this yet, so these I'm kind of holding on to, and I'll eventually I'll, I'll get to enjoy them. But I want to pick up more Caldwell stuff. Uh, you know, I've always been a fan of the bands and kind of the creativity behind the naming of some of his stuff. So this here is The King is Dead. I got one of the Eastern Standard Sun Grown. Yep, got one of the Eastern Standard Sun Grown. Actually, I might take one of these today and smoke with me. This one here is the Caldwell Standard. Live East, Die Young, how cool is that? <laughs> the band there. And then Long Live the King and kind of that Lonsdale size. As far as Cavalier, I got the Cavalier White Series Corona. Really enjoyed this. I have had these cigars. Yeah, so actually I have two of the White Series Corona. I might take one of these with me to smoke today. And then I also have the Black, uh, the Cavalier Black Label in Torpedo. So I actually got to talk with one of the um, representatives for Cavalier and he showed me a video of how they apply this gold leaf that is solid, yeah, food grade gold leaf and showed me, you know, the workers on how they kind of attach it and they, you know, peel it off and, and apply it on every single cigar by hand. I thought that was really cool, really unique. So that is basically everything I have in, oh no, one more, one more thing, I almost forgot. To keep with the Drew Estate stuff, I did buy a box of the Herrera Esteli, and these are the Pyramid Miami Boom. And I gifted one of these, so um, yeah, I'm a giver. I like to give things away, <laughs> and uh, this is one that I've given away and have not smoked myself. I'm gonna let these sit for a bit longer and then enjoy a couple and see how they change over time. So that's everything I got, um, everything that Willie Herrera has put out I've pretty much enjoyed so I'm really looking forward to trying this out if you've had any of these cigars you know definitely leave me your comments of thoughts down below that is Tupperdor number one and this video went longer than I planned so I might have to come up with a more efficient way in the future but make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more I really appreciate the support and as always I can't wait to see you all at the next one take care